Yes, what is going on guys, Tim Chase here, and today's video is on how much weight should I gain in a bulking phase. Now, for anyone watching this that doesn't know what a bulking phase is, this is a phase people use to eat generally a lot of food to you know, add muscle tissue before they do their cutting phase to drop the body fat back down. So it's obviously used a hell of a lot in the kind of bodybuilding competing world. Now, if you are watching this and you are not looking to compete as a physique athlete or a bodybuilder, then I probably wouldn't even look at doing a bulking phase. I would look at just adding some lean muscle tissue. And what I mean by that is just adding some muscle tissue without too much excess body fat. So I would probably say whatever your body weight is, you probably want to gain, you could probably push up maybe five, maybe 7% in, in weight before bringing it back down because it, it does work, especially from a mental point of view, doing a kind of a gaining phase and then a so-called cutting phase. It just works nicely because you know you can gradually increase your calories and gradually increase your, your weight and then you can bring it down gradually rather than just one day eating high, one day eating low and at the end of the month you haven't really changed and it's all a bit confusing as to am I gaining, am I losing? Um, so I'd probably say it is worth doing like a, a kind of gaining phase and then a cutting phase, but I don't like to call it just a full on bulk. Um, so yeah, someone who's not competing, 5% probably be fine for me. I, I step uh, on stage or I'm shredded at like, uh, let's say 86 kilos. So 5% of that is about uh, 4.3 kilos. So I could probably, you know, do a a lean bulk or a slight um, gain in muscle tissue up to just above 90 kilos um, and then obviously I'll bring it back down and hopefully I've gained a couple of kilos. So um, I don't want to be pushing too too crazy and the reason for that is if I'm not doing it for a goal like, um, I don't know, if I'm, if I'm not like an actor or bodybuilder or physique athlete, then why do I want to spend like six months to a year looking out of shape and like big and like a cloud and with no abs? Um, and I'm basically almost unhealthy um, if I'm then going to spend the next sort of six months feeling awful trying to diet down and bring it all back off again. Um, I would probably much rather just gradually increase and then gradually bring the body fat off um, because I'm going to mentally feel a lot better and I'm going to look pretty healthy the whole time. However, if you are a bodybuilder, and I think this is where the confusion lies, if you are a super heavyweight bodybuilder, then you need to force your body to grow. The size of a super heavyweight bodybuilder is not natural. You can't naturally get there. You need to be eating a hell of a lot of food and pushing your body to its limits and through the limits. So you need to be eating a lot of calories to get to the size of these guys. They are huge. And therefore, I would probably push a bulking phase, but I would still only push to sort of 10 to 15% gain in body weight. So for me being like, what, 94 shredded, um, sorry, nine, sorry, 86 shredded, um, I could probably push up to kind of 94, maybe 98, um, and then obviously bring it back down. Big problem with this though, I did this last year, I pushed up to like 98 kilos, and that's been 16 weeks of hell bringing it down to, to make, not make weight, but to almost you know, make the cut when it comes to levels of body fat at 86 kilos. And it was, trust me, it was really hard, mentally hard to, to lose that much body weight and the amount of training I put in, I really wished I hadn't pushed it as hard. And would I have got the same result if I hadn't pushed it that hard? I'm not sure, but I would have probably preferred it. But I'm not a super heavyweight bodybuilder, so I don't need to push my body to that extreme. So in summary, I would say if you are a bodybuilder, physique athlete, and you want some serious um, gains in muscle tissue, and you don't mind suffering and sacrificing for a pretty long period of time, then you probably could push your body weight up 10 to 15% before bringing it down. But it is tough and there's quite a bit of suffering involved. However, if you are not competing, then I would say 5% increase, maybe 6, 7 if you want to push it um, in body weight is probably all you need because you know, look pretty good all year round, just a little bit bigger and softer when you're kind of adding the lean muscle tissue and you're going to look a bit, a little bit drier and harder, a little bit smaller. Um, when you are bringing the body fat back down. Um, so it's only got to be a slight shift in calories between the two kind of phases um, if you are not competing. And it's only going to be a slight difference maybe in the energy expenditure. You need to maybe go and do some extra walks or a bit of extra training. But it's not got to be anything drastic. So I hope that kind of clears it up as to how much weight um, I recommend um, you should gain in your sort of bulking phase or your uh, lean muscle gaining phase, whatever you want to call it. Um, any questions, obviously, as always, just drop me a message. Uh, if you like the video, hit the like button and make sure you subscribe and I'll see you all at the next video. Ciao.